Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about uh, core strength. I'm getting a lot of people asking the question, um, what specific exercises that I do um, to strengthen my core um, um, since I'm a big advocate of core strength. Um, it's not the, it's not a specific exercise that I do. Um, in all my lifts, all my exercises, I utilize my core. I make sure my midsection is nice and tight. Um, um, I um, have a method that, um, or belief that in a certain position, uh, your core is completely tight and strong. Um, uh, and I utilize that in all three of my lifts. And even if I was to do the fourth big lift or core lift, which would be overhead press, I use that in that also. Um, and a lot of people, uh, a lot of people um, have no idea, you know. Um, but the biggest thing, what I do as far as core strength, for example, I'm going to talk about my deadlift. Um, and I'm getting a lot of people, uh, and one person in particular just, you know, asked on YouTube, you know, he was curious of what I do and you know, why I touch and go. But on my deadlift, that's the main reason why I touch and go because that utilizes, or that, that allows me to, that allows me to uh, strengthen that core with touch and go. Um, when I touch and go and use correct form without letting the bar ride down my legs or just letting the bar go down, I actually control it down and come right back up, barely tap and come back up. If you think about it, <clears throat> your core is working the whole time when you're doing those reps, not just in that one lift where you're going up and controlling it back down, but think about it, especially I do 10 sets of 10, so I'm going up, coming back down, 10 times with um, with a moderate weight. So how can my core not be strong by constantly maintaining weight, okay? Um, that's how I think about it. Um, and the word maintaining is very important uh, to me, and I use that word a lot because uh, thinking about it this way, if, if you can maintain a weight, um, and just hold it for a certain amount of time and I, I, it, for a certain amount of time, then what do you think you can do with it? You think you can move it, you know what I mean? You, 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 you have control over it so you can do whatever you want with that particular weight or with that particular object, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, so, uh, being able to maintain weight teaching your body to maintain weight or building that core to maintain weight is everything. Um, so, like I said, my touching and going, constantly holding that weight, feeling that weight, letting that core hold that weight, okay? And when I say core, it's here, okay? Uh, some people don't think, you know, they should you should call that core, but uh, that's core. That's the central part of your body that connects everything together. Okay, if this is weak, then you're weak. So, um, so uh, touching and going is a big, big deal as far as controlling that, uh, as far as uh, building that core. Um, like I said, I also utilize that in secondary work. Say if I was, <clears throat> say if I was uh, doing um, tricep extensions, I make sure I'm tight here and I can get the maximum work out of my triceps because I'm tight here. Um, that's a good thing I, I would like for everybody to try. Just if you go do tricep extension, try to do tricep extensions like you do already and then think about, you know, uh, tightening up this core and doing it. It's a whole different drive. You feel like it's heavy and it's, it's going slow, but you feel like you can't, you cannot continue to, you cannot not continue to stop that, that drive. When you have complete control and complete tightness in that core, your drive is limitless. But <clears throat> the only way you can have that, that limitless feeling 
of, of drive is if you have correct technique. So uh, you have to have good technique in order to do that. It's about the balance of the body. So the weight, uh, the bar, and the body has to be one. And that's what a lot of people don't get, um, especially in the technique that I talk about in deadlift um, and my positioning. I make sure, I'm making sure that the body and the bar is one. So um, the body have to balance out. Um, so in, in, in order to get that, that real strong core, make sure you do the technique correctly and um, you, you'll create the, the leverage that you need and you will be able to train that core if, if you continue with that form. Okay, like I said, don't touch the don't touch the legs when you're coming down, and don't let the weight bring you down. You bring the weight down. So, um, uh, with core strength and strengthening the core, that's some of the things that I do. So uh, try that out, and uh, hopefully it work for you. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is uh, just got back from the Arnold. Just want to say it was a wonderful time. I enjoyed it. Um, always good to. Um, to uh, hang out with the uh, animal family. I just want to thank animal and I want to thank my followers and supporters. Um, Y'all make this possible because I do have self-motivation, but it's nothing like people coming up to you and telling you that you inspire them. Um, you feel like um, that you have no choice but to keep going, you know what I mean? Uh, so. I'm really grateful for that. Uh, thank y'all for that, and um, and like I said, it was a good, it was a good weekend. A lot of big lifts. I enjoyed it, and uh, hope to see y'all next time.